guys so i just got to work not too long ago um i did notice that i i did not show y'all what i cooked yesterday one two i've never shown y'all my prep so i just want to show y'all some of the stuff that i brought today for work i'm not gonna be here long so because i have meetings in the field but I just wanted to show y'all pretty much what I bring. I didn't bring everything, but I brought the majority of things because my body is used to eating all day. So, we have a cereal bar, a pastry crisp for my sweets. I bought a banana because I was too lazy to make my smoothie, fruit snacks, a clementine. I normally have like three or four of these. I don't know why I just got one. Carrots, um, grape tomatoes, a peach mango energy. Um, I have egg whites and let me just show y'all what I cooked yesterday all right so this is a melody it has chicken um, corn and green beans in it and yeah and it's really good um, and right here I have my tea I always mix it with um, this is the green tea and then this is the, um, it's a detox tea by Yoji. I always like the quotes that they have on here, so let's read it. It says, I'm beautiful, I am bountiful, I am blissful. That's what it is. Um, I'm about to get to work. Um, I have a lot of work to do, and plus I have two meetings in the field. Um, I have one, my face is really shiny. Um, I have one at 12 30 and i have one at five so in between time i'm just going to be doing um other work that i have and then after my meeting at five i'm going to head to the gym hopefully i can get some footage while i'm there well good morning it is wednesday what that is hump day 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 no <laughs> unless i'm happy I said Sunday. So, I think last time we, I left off, or it's probably coming from me leaving work yesterday. And then, well, I had a meeting at five. Finished that meeting, was supposed to go to the gym, but I was thinking, I was like, I need to clean my house before the weekend because the weekend is going to be jumping. So, instead of going to the gym whenever I got off, because I don't like going to the gym after five like it was like six o'clock and i don't like going to the gym around then for whatever reason because it'd be so many people here too like some people like get off go home get dressed and then come to the gym so it'd be so packed and i get annoyed very easy so especially when i'm like doing a set and they be like um how many more sets you got you almost done no i'm gonna I'm keep this i'm gonna keep this weight the whole time i'm gonna keep it the whole time thank you no like one time this dude, this um Chinese dude, he was like, excuse me, um, you mind moving over there so I can use this this machine? Excuse me, ma? Um, yeah, what? Move? Sir. No, sir. But um I actually moved. I moved. I actually did. Because God was with me that day. He really was. Because I really could have put fire up in him. Or like my friend said, I could have slapped the fire out of him. That really made me mad. Because you wouldn't ask no man that. So why do you feel it that it's okay to ask me that? But anyway. I'm on my way to work. I cleaned up last night. And I just prepped for my day. Today, I brought three clementines. Cereal bar. Pastry crisp. Smoothie. Um, two egg whites. And my, my meal prep that I do. Grapes. And I forgot my green tea and my lemon. In my detox tea that's gonna make me mad yeah but anyway it's okay it's okay so i probably just need to bring something to the office like i did before i used to bring um lemons and tea and keep it in the office but you know some people like all of a sudden they drinking the same tea that you had but they don't know what happened to your tea yeah who do you think i am beautiful but it's cool everybody want me like me it's cool no i'm joking but um yeah so i didn't really need one. Oh, oh, oh jesus this guy just almost fell off his freaking motorcycle jesus oh my god see uh -uh. oh that was scary oh my god uh -uh. i ain't riding a motorcycle 
I had a couple people ask me to ride motorcycles with them. No, I almost died once. I'm not gonna do it again. Like, and not no motorcycle and a car. So if I almost died in a car where the car flipped upside down, why the heck would I get on a motorcycle? No. The way my nine lives are set up, no. Mm -mm. I ain't got no nine lives. But God saved me. He was my angel. My, he was my protection. And I'm grateful. But anyway, yeah, so I'm like really <laughs> pumped up today. This morning. I don't know why. Because I'm going to work. But yeah. Hopefully, since it's bad weather, everybody's staying at home and I'll be the only one in the office. <laughs> anyway, so um yeah, so I'm gonna work. Um yeah, on yeah, 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 yeah. So today's probably not really that interesting, but I might hit y'all back. So um oh in my last vlog I think I showed my battery's about to die too because I never plugged up my camera. That's another reason that made me not want to go to the gym, which is really silly. But yeah. Um, last time in my last vlog, I got my makeup done and I looked like a daggum ghost. Oh my god, it was so bad. To the fact I went to the restroom and I wiped it off and I went back to the kiosk. I don't think it, I don't think I um, showed that part. I went back to the kiosk. And I got some different, and then the girl had gave me a used foundation palette. That the, that's what, this is what the girl told me. The girl had gave me a used foundation palette, and the um, foundation she gave was too dark. So I went back, I got a lighter one, and then I got a little darker powder because the lighter one was a little bit too light. But then whenever you put the powder on top of it to set it, it warms it up. So that's kind of like, that's what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing foundation during the week, which um, doesn't really happen. It really doesn't. I feel like that's what keeps my um my skin clear. Alright, so I am leaving work. And I have not taken a lunch. And it is like 3.40. So I'm taking my hour lunch. And then I'm just gonna have to continue on working. It's it's crazy whenever you have salary when you people think having a salary is a good thing but it's not necessarily a good thing it depends on the amount of work that you have due to the fact that you can be working 24 7 but you're going to get paid that same amount get that in your head the same amount so yeah i'm just trying to make sure that i'm caught up because i because the holidays are going up and i wanted to go home i just got an approval saying that I <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly why I need a mount. I just got an approval from home, or, or approval saying that I can actually go home for Thanksgiving. So the day before Thanksgiving and the Monday off. But it's a week in a day until Thanksgiving. So the tickets are so high. So I found a ticket for like three something. But I'm supposed to be trying to like find a hotel and I have to have a rental car because I can't be stagnant. Like I got to be able to drive even though my dad is just going to be coming out of um, knee, his second knee replacement surgery. So he ain't going to be driving, but he ain't going to let me drive it. I don't know. He's a weird one. But yeah, so and then, oh my gosh. So I found a ticket for like 350, but I have to pay for Paris to go. So that's an additional $125. It's annoying. It really is. And it literally makes me want to scream. Come on. Come on, people. If you gotta get in this lane, I gotta get in that lane. Why don't we just switch sides? But no, you wanna stand there and look crazy. Oh no, cause you playing with your phone. That's what's going on. You playing with your phone. Anyway, $125. Like, 
$477 just for the for the flight. And it'd be different if I was driving somebody else's car or if I didn't have to get a hotel. I am having to get a hotel. It's not even gonna I don't even know if I should even be paying all this money to come home and it like be bunk or born or something. It's just I don't know. I don't I don't I don't even know if it's worth it. Is it worth it? If worth it, I'm worth it. Can I put it in your way? So I'm worth it. It's so long we It's young for me like it. Anyway, if you gotta But anyway. I don't know. I really I don't know if it's worth it. I don't. Cause a lot of times when I go home, I'm like disappointed of how it is you know I don't know I don't know it's a lot of money I can like take a trip for that amount I pay trip for the amount of money cause I went <laughs> with the car and rental and all of that do you understand that it's like a thousand uh, uh, no okay the car not the car and the rental the car and the hotel so I'll be staying Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday leaving so that's five nights right five nights just say I got a hotel for a hundred dollars a night that's five hundred dollars plus tax because you know they taxing and a car rental it's just like this is something well I blame myself because one this is something that should have been booked a long time ago. But when your life is so freaking hectic, you can't keep up with everything. It's impossible. Impossible. Seriously. So annoying. Things are happening everywhere. <laughs> impossible. Did y'all like that movie, um, Cinderella with Brandy? <laughs> was it? I don't even know what movie. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the secret stone. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, mother. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Tell the doctor feel good. There's a women that butt holders. The women that butt holders. Back in the day when a man was, you know, working and his woman was going yeah. to get her nails done, her hair done. It wasn't like she was just sitting there not doing anything. She was washing clothes. She was working, but she never was. But that's the third. Okay, so, but some so, women don't want to do all that stuff that they deserve. So, but if I also have a career. That's interesting. Because I'm going to ask you guys a question. I'm going to say something, because I like to start shit, right? Can I start some shit? There's no such thing as starting shit. It's just a conversation. Right? Can we, can we start a conversation? I like that, Dr. Phil. Okay? So can we start a conversation? When you say it, you got to snap at me. See what I'm saying? Dr. Phil. Can we talk about this? Can we have a yeah. conversation? I believe that most women don't know how to take this. Most women don't know how to take care of a man emotionally. No, what don't, don't, sit, don't. Fried mushrooms. So, so, so I need flowers, I need flowers. <laughs> I need to share them. I need emotions. Yeah, if you don't want it, and you, you don't have like to keep it, you don't have to keep it, you don't have to keep it, you don't have to keep it, because the culture has set it up that the only emotion that people are comfortable with when expressing is anger. She is less attuned to what he really wanted. Because everyone, you're asking me I understand that men go through things in life that no one is paying attention to. And that a lot of what you see is anger is really bad depression. I will, I will. He played too much. Come on, you will. Seriously? I will say. I will change your name. And I'm upset because I'm going home early because we got to pick up Gabby's friend. But I'm not, no, no shade. I'm just saying. I told you hoes, y'all can stay. Listen, watch out, watch, watch what you call me. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to T. Kill. What? What? First of all, don't break out the nickname. Second of all, 
Thanksgiving from your neighborhood Did they hold it? No, I gave her. You did? You did? You did? I really didn't know. <laughs> but now I know. It's a person of my demise. <laughs> no. <laughs>